Hey everyone, it's me, your girlfriend, Dream. I am live here at the Foxhole. Good morning to you on this wonderful Wednesday, June the 3rd. I'm coming to you with a vlog. Um, I want to say it's not easy being Dream Vlog, or it is easy being Dream Vlog. Um, and uh, I am Miss Atlanta Thick Dream from MissAtlantaThickDream.com, the yummy mommy in the world beyond. Hello, everyone. I'm Thick Dream, Yvette Johnson on Facebook and MS period Atlanta Thick Dream on your Instagram, baby. Yes, and ATL underscore Thick Dream on Twitter. And thank you, new followers. Thank you, new subscribers to my YouTube channel, ATL Thick Dream here. And also, here we go. I am in webcam model mode right now. So look, I got the heels on. Look, they're kind of big. And this vlog is going to be all over the place. I'm just going to go dish on some different topics um, on this wonderful Wednesday. Okay, so girlfriend here has been getting a lot of uh, questions from women um, in my weight loss support group and just in my, my girlfriends and just a different, a lot of energies that I need to, I have to come to you as the love goddess, Miss Atlanta Thick Dream, giving you guys some love, 411 on sex, intimacy, and um, sacred sex and also diet and nutrition. I'm gonna mix all that in one and, and throw some of my personal in there, of course, of course. And uh, remember, this is fact and fiction. So we're mixing it all together to um, give you some 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 type of uh, some history and just different scenarios. So you could take the information that I give you and just go and use it for yourself, share it with a friend, whatever. Anyway, so what I posted on Twitter was, we are responsible for getting our own pleasures, okay? Now, I have a, 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 a term that I use, it's called romps, and I've used that on my Tumblr, which is missatlantathickdream.tumblr.com. And I've used this post, um, it's called romp, and it means recipients of my pleasures, a romp, okay? So, we have our romps, meaning those people in our lives or those, um, whether it's a human being or whether it's your sex toy. And I think I got some around here somewhere. But anyway, I'm looking like for my toy. Oh, it's on a charger over there. But yeah, we are responsible for receiving our own pleasures. Not our mates, not our spouses, not, you know, our friends or whatever. No one is responsible for giving us or making sure that we get our pleasure, okay? Unless I have to say yes, unless you are married your spouse should not be neglectful with giving you pleasure and you shouldn't have to beg for it. And being a wife that I was for what, uh, two decades, I do know what it's like being neglected by your spouse. That is the most horrible, horrible, horrible is feeling in the world when your spouse does not want to have intimacy, um, when they don't want to touch you. You don't know if they're with someone else or, you know, they're having impotency issues or they they change teams, they're dealing with some homosexuality stuff. You don't know what to think when your spouse is being neglectful to you when it comes to your sexuality. And, and we, as the human beings that we are, we become very resentful when our mates are neglectful, right? I mean, me as the single and dating woman that I am right now, anyone that I haven't seen, let's see, one, two, I say three weeks if he is supposed to be my man you know not my romp but he's supposed to be my man um and i have not seen him in one two three weeks baby one you're not my man <laughs> what type of relationship is this and why are you being so damn neglectful um when it comes to me getting my intimacy with you i think that's very strange right don't you yeah, that would seem very strange. I would think that you're either cheating or you're dealing with something that you're not sharing. It's, it, it's something going on with you if, if we're not having sex in three weeks. And you know, maybe some of you guys go a little bit longer than that. Than that, that's fine. If you, if, but if you're not seeing each other in those weeks, I would definitely say there's a flag that needs to be raised. Um, and also, when we are. <laughs> on this journey of life it's always helpful like i said to um on another post somewhere else and i don't remember where i posted it to honor our bodies okay honor it that means mind heart and our genitals 
honor our bodies and the person that we choose to um, have intercourse with or have any type of intimate relationship with, they should honor it as well. And often, <laughs> I say as often as possible to show that one, you appreciate me, you love me, we are on one accord, you know, we're connected and there's no funny business going on. So we're going to honor each other. And I, and I have to honor myself by one, not neglecting myself from the pleasure, not neglecting myself for forming relationships with people, um, whether it's business or whether it's personal. Don't neglect yourself because we can't live in a bubble. I've said this before, and we do have to deal with different individuals, no matter how difficult they are. Um, and something else I wanted to talk with you guys about, you know, I'm on my weight loss journey, right? Okay. And you know what I do here online um, and like the world knows. Well, here's the issue that yours truly and many others that I know um, go through is that a lot of men, they see this whole thing, this, this here, right here, and they get you twisted. Some of them have the Madonna whore complex. Let's just say that. Look it up online, the Madonna whore complex. A lot of them suffer from that. They want the goody goody girl, but they want actually they want the freak too, and they can't see you as being the you know the freak and the naughty girl at the same time. A lot of men can't wrap their heads around it, and on top of that, they can't see you know honoring you in your your sacred space and your body, your your yoni. They can't see honoring you properly um, because they don't see you as a as a as a person that is suitable for them. They might treat you sweet, kind, and, and don't disrespect you in any type of way, but their actions say otherwise. That is because they have some type of issue. Um, what I tend to get is a lot of men who um, see me as a fetish because I am a big girl, plus size. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm still plus size. I'm not a skinny mini yet, even though I'm on my weight loss journey. I get a lot of men um, who have fallen off of being my fans or admirers because I've lost the weight. Um, they liked me when I was plumper. And they think that that's something wrong. They think there's something wrong with me, that I want to get healthy and I want to live a longer you know, life. They think there's something wrong with me and, and that. But really and truly, I was just their fetish. That's all that was. Um, and then you get these men who think that fat girls are just lowly. Fat girls are needy and fat girls don't deserve love. There are a lot of men out here watching me right now that don't really like me, okay? And if given the opportunity, if they were angry at me, they would call me a fat bitch. <laughs> if given the opportunity, if I turned them down because how dare you be a chocolate mom, okay, in the sensuality business, and you talk about sex and you just wreak sexuality and you're confident. How dare you? And you black, you know, I'm going to say black, not brown. And the nerve to turn me down when I come at you. Don't you want some of this? You know? Oh, yeah. I get that a lot. And a lot of women who do what I do get it. And some women who are just plus size, they get it a lot. Because some of you don't think that we should have preferences. Sorry, fellas. A lot of us do. And a lot of confident, curvy women like myself, we do have um, many options, many, many, many ones. But we are just very selective. So when you come at us, you got to come correct. And yes, if she's good, she's going to be guarded. I know I am. I'm guarded. Um, and I have a selection process. And, 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 and I will run you so hard through anybody's uh, database, checkmate database, federal database, whatever. If I really and truly like you, and if you're coming at me as hard as you want to, but that's the thing you should be prepared for. And I think I said that before on other, on other vlogs, but anyway, um, what I've noticed too, with, you know, I get a lot of, of, um, different people asking me advice from weight loss and relationships and intimacy. One thing I'll say, we cannot complain at what we attract because what's in us is what's in us regardless okay unless you go through some deep deep rooted cleansing process of your own fasting and all that good stuff you're not going to attract those type of things but as long as our 
bodies are sexual and they're radiant and, and they're just humming and vibrating all different kinds of metaphysical things out into the universe and we have pheromones as well that we deal with you're going to attract something and you're going to attract some bullshit but as long as you have a good bullshit filter as i said uh before on twitter having that discernment you'll be fine because you know that you won't fall for anything and everything that comes at you and it will save this right here and right here. And, and oh, definitely this, a lot of heartache and pain and a lot of misery that you have to endure dealing with a lot of bullshit. And a lot of women don't use their discernment like they, they should. They just fall for in and everything just because, oh, he looks good. He drives a nice car and he's this and he's that. Oh my God. And he got a big dick. Well, here's the thing with me. Since I am in a sensuality-based business, well, a big dick is not the only thing that I look at when looking for a quality mate. No, it isn't. And I know I sound got, got my proper voice on now, but it's not. Um, you cannot fuck me, your girlfriend here, into submission. And see, I know what what all I attract. I can look at my I can look at my history. Y'all can look at my history. Um, of the things that I've I've, I've shared with you over the years. Um. And it's just because I'm an eccentric being and I am, I'm diverse. So I'm going to attract the unique and the exceptional type of male. <laughs> I would have to say the exceptional type of male. So a lot of times the drama kings and the fuckery that I get is because I give certain men chances um, that a lot of women wouldn't. Okay. And, and, and a lot of women I know do the same damn thing. And um, I tend to attract crazy, crazy, because they see this, um, they see me as being diverse, they see me as being pretty much open um, to long as you don't cause me any drama, you don't disrespect me, we're fine. And they see that as a green light and they think that, okay, we're well, cool, she'll go with this, she'll go with that, da 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 <sighs> But at the end of the day, the charade can only go but so far, right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> and I will cut you quick, quick, fast in a hurry. But um, I can say being Miss Atlanta Thick Dream, it is a gift and a curse Um, when it comes to dating and it comes to um, just living. Um, as a being here on this earth, because I'm going to say this. Yes, it has its perks of the friendships that I formed over the years. Yes, it has its perk as being an entrepreneur. Yes, it has its perks of, of, of setting my own hours and, you know, working for myself, which is all under that entrepreneur. And my leg is going numb here. Ah! Ah! Ooh, ooh, cha. Yeah, but anyway, it still falls under that um, entrepreneur umbrella. But as far as the um, huh, the relationship thing, we don't work on that because, <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness, we gonna work on that. Yeah, we we are, and I, I really don't want to divulge too much, but we we working on that. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like if it wasn't for. Woo, Ooh, my mama said something to me last week. She said, girl, if it wasn't for the God in me, <laughs> I tell you, if it wasn't for the God in me, I wouldn't have the love that I have, the patience that I have with some of the individuals that come across my inboxes and my phone and my life. What? Oh, yeah. Your girl would be snapped. <laughs> Episode which one? I will be locked up somewhere because people will try you all day, every day, being Miss Atlanta Thick Dream and being anyone. Um, and it's hard to even say now because I've been doing this for eight years that how do I know that this so-and-so doesn't know me from the internet, okay? How do I know that? But it's always this type of suspicion and all that other kind of stuff. And I don't know. It, it, it's, it's whatever we attract, right, ladies and gentlemen? And, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I want to go so much deeper on that topic, but I'm going back to you guys here. Honor thyself. Do not deny yourself. Take 
the time to be discerning with those you deal with and the choices that you make because you'll save yourself a lot, a lot, a lot of misery in the long run. And also remember the pleasure that we get is ours. We are responsible for it. Okay. Always remember that always. Cause I know I can sit up here and tell you it's been X, Y, Z, da, 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 this date, this time when the last time I did X, Y, Z, I could say that. Okay. But then I'd be dead wrong. You know why? It, it, because I would sit here and just have some type of feeling about the last time I did this, who I did it with, and then I would be mad at them. No, 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 no. No need to be mad at them because this is my body. When I want the pleasure, I'm going to get it. <laughs> and one thing I'm going to say, and I always said this on another post, I'm going to get what I want to get at the end of the day, either way. That's another thing. I'm going to get what I want. And I've been so good. When I say I've been so good, y'all don't see all the goodness that I do. And I'm not bragging. But uh, I've been so good that I tend to get whatever it is, whatever it is that I seek, I get. It's just a matter of, I have to be very discerning, fine-tuned. When I write it down and put it on my, my prayer table or I put it on my pillow at night or as I sit here and do whatever, oh, please, oh, please, or, or whatever the case may be. I have to be very precise when I am seeking, when I'm wanting certain things, because I will get some stuff and I'm like, ooh, what did I do to get that over here like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. But it, everything is always a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever we attract, whatever comes at us, whatever situations we deal with, it's all a lesson. All a lesson take from it the the good and the bad and move on move on from it i know i am your girlfriend here will be celebrating a milestone birthday next month too oh yeah life is too short to deal with some of the the things that we as entertainers and we as awake women deal with we as plus size women deal with as african-american women deal with life is too short to deal with all that extra that people try to bring it you know, to you. And what I would do, I wouldn't give negative the negative. No. Somebody come at me negative, I'm going to be like, pause. Okay. Pretty much calm down. Because if you come at them with a stillness and a calm demeanor and a cool demeanor, they're not going to be all... You're going to look at them like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what we're doing today. All right. And you would be amazed at the reaction you get back from all that drama and all that hyperness and extra that they trying to bring into your space. All right. So anyway, one last point that I have to say once again, we must set boundaries, boundaries. We can't let people come in, walk all over, just, just know everything, do everything. And they haven't even earned the right to do it. Okay. Set boundaries for yourself and those that you deal with. Let them know, uh-uh, your girl. <laughs> but we ain't having all that, okay? Tell your homegirl the same thing. Uh-uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, girl, I'm gonna need a moment. Call me back, I'm doing X, Y, Z, da, 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 and then we can talk. Whether it's five minutes, the next day, whatever. Respect the boundaries that people have, okay? You never know what someone's going through. You never know. So, I am signing off, it is Wednesday, <laughs> once again, June 3rd. I am, I'm your girlfriend, Miss Atlanta Thick Dreams, AtlantaThickDream.com. Hey, bye everyone. Mwah.